What's up fellow travelers? So some plans have changed. I know we said originally we were gonna give you a tour of the Winnebago factory, but they don't really do tours in the winter time and there's a big winter storm approaching so we are booking it out of Iowa. And we miss our dear warm Florida weather so we're going to head down now to Nashville and then hopefully make our way on to Florida. So now we have to figure out where in Nashville we're going to stay and there are a couple of apps that we use. The first of them is uh, Harvest Hosts, which is something we've just started using recently. It's a great uh, app uh, that you pay a, a yearly fee for and what it does is it gives you access to a ton of different farms and wineries around the country that you can stay at for free with the expectation that maybe you'll buy some produce or some wine, which I have no trouble with. Um, so that's one option. The other option that we use a lot is an app called iOverlander that lets you see just a bunch of different places that you can park uh, overnight for free or for pay, like different campsites, different um, uh, locations like Cabela's, Walmart, Cracker Barrel, all of those things. All right, so I'm gonna open up Harvest Host right now and we'll see what's cooking. Let me look at Nashville. Hmm. So there are some places on the outskirts of Nashville, but it doesn't look like there's too much in Nashville proper, which is where we wanna stay, right Paul? Yep. So let's see what I Overlander has in store for us. Go back. All right. So here, is this Nashville? Yeah, so here's Nashville, and you can see there are a ton of different options. Um, some of these symbols mean you have to pay to stay there. Others are places you can get uh, your van fixed, get maintenance, and um, you can see different dump spots as well. Here's the location we're thinking of. Uh, Nissan Stadium, which looks like it's right outside of Nashville. And uh, you can click on the information button and it actually gives you some information, like if there's good cell service there, and you can look at different reviews that people post about the area. So you know that it's safe and it's a good place to park. So what do you think? Should we check it out? Definitely. All right. Hey babe. Ready to go? Let's do it. All right, so we are in Nashville right now. We found a great parking spot to stay in overnight. That's Nashville, uh, right on the uh, river. And we found some neighbors, a really cool couple from Michigan uh, that are full-time van lifers as well. too. <laughs> well, it's not that bad right now. It's not that bad, but coming from Iowa and then here, I just don't understand why we're not in Florida right now. <laughs> well, let's go to Florida then. <laughs>
so we just checked out downtown Nashville, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a little chilly, so we came back to the van to make some soup. Um, so we actually cook in our van a fair amount, which was surprising for us. Uh, I thought mostly I would just be doing microwavable burritos, which I still do because they're delicious. But we have a uh, functional uh, stove top here and a fair amount of kitchen space. Actually, almost as much space as we had in our apartment in Brooklyn. So we make good use of it. So today uh, I'm making my husband some vegan tofu soup. Alright, so we have our tofu, onion, and carrot sizzling away in our pot. And uh, we're going to add a little seasoning, some garlic powder, because I don't feel like chopping up the real thing. And then I'm going to toss in a whole thing of uh, veggie broth. So now that our soup is boiling, we're gonna add the finishing touches. So we're gonna put in some spinach for a little nutritional kick. Orlando, Orlando, come here, buddy. You want some spinach? Good boy. He loves spinach. It's so cute watching him eat it. Um, and then some coconut aminos, which has got really good flavor. I know it sounds weird, but it's also got all the amino acids you need if you are vegan. And then finally, the secret ingredient, nutritional yeast. Again, sounds a little strange, but it's got really good flavor. It's really nutty and a little cheesy, and it's great to add to soup stocks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I gotta show them what's going on outside. Yeah. So I'm really distracted. Whoa, this, is... Wait, this is Nashville we're in right now. I'm gonna show you what's going on outside the back window. There's these people, there's like this party bus. And like all these people just come, like, coming off the bus. This is like the fifth party bus that's passed us in the past hour. And now there's out there dancing, jumping up and down. And they just keep coming off the bus. These windows are tinted, so they... And with that and the bikes and the ladder, you can't really see us. I guess that's, that's the reality of van life. <laughs> just never know who your neighbor's gonna be. But the other reality is that if you don't like your neighbors, you can just drive away. Hey babe, hmm? since I cooked, that means you do the cleaning, right? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so the easiest way to do dishes in the van is to get your spouse to do it. Hey, you're supposed to be the one doing these. I know. So in the van, water is a precious commodity that we don't want to waste. So what we do is we put water into a little basin in here and some uh, soap. And so we wash our dishes and then we have a little sprayer bottle that I fill with water uh, that's been filtered from our Berkey that I use to then rinse off the dish. So it saves a ton of water um, and it works really well. Good job, keep it up.
people here are so friendly. <laughs> I think it's the alcohol. So we had a fun time uh, out on the town. Um, we're all tucked in a bed right now. And I don't know if you can hear that music, uh, but we are sleeping right across the river from downtown Nashville. So we'll see how much sleep we get tonight. But we have our handy dandy earplugs just in case. Normally don't like wearing them. I like to have some situational awareness, but yeah, it's pretty safe here, so I think it's warranted tonight. And that's it for this vlog. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. The life I love is making music with my friends. I can't wait to get on the road again.